Hi, welcome to our 25th anniversary webinar series. I'm Kathleen Olson, owner of Edina Skincare Specialist, and this is Caitlin Hall. She's an advanced practice esthetician here at Edina Skincare. And today our topic is going to be where do I start? So yeah. you can start with where do I yeah. start? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I mean, I've had clients that are in their 20s, um, just really beginning with skincare. Um, preventing more than anything in their 30s, 40s, 50s, even clients in their 60s saying like, where do I start? I've never done skincare before. So um, there isn't an age limit. It's really for any age, just starting with skincare. Cool. So there are millions of treatments out there these days. We mm -hmm. see all kinds of ads. We have a whole bunch here at Edina Skincare. Where does somebody start? Yeah, so um, we like to say it's really 50-50, what you are doing at home, your product use, how well you're doing that, your regimen, um, and then what 50% of what we're doing here in the office as far as treatments and maintenance um, for, yeah, the treatments that we do here. Okay, okay. So um, if someone came in for their first time, no matter what age they are, what do you recommend that they start doing? Um, well, it's really all about exfoliation. So um, in my opinion, I think dermaplaning is the best form. Um, we do it all the time. It's definitely like our most popular um, treatment. To, we always start, start every peel with a dermaplane. Um, and we do have a little video to show here about um, what exactly dermaplaning is. So what is that that you're using for a tool? Yeah, so it's just a little blade um, and those are feather light strokes, really gentle. Um, it's a nice gentle form of exfoliation, but as you can see, it gets off the buildup layer on the skin. Um, and also it, it does remove the, the peach fuzz as well. That's a nice bonus. Mm -hmm. I love getting my furry face defuzzed. Right. It's quite addicting having this done, isn't it? How often can somebody do this? Yeah, so we say um, once a month is, is ideal. That's when your skin cells regenerate and turn over. So if you can do it once a month, you are good to go for that exfoliation. Great, yeah. great. And I see you're taking off the peach fuzz. We talked about that. Does it cause your hair to grow thicker or longer on your face after you've done this? It really doesn't at all. It doesn't change the, how the hair grows at all because we're just taking it off right at the surface level. We're not doing anything with that. Oh, okay. 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 That sounds good. Yeah. So it just leaves the skin really nice and smooth and fresh and bright and um, soft yeah. as a baby's bottom. Right. Exactly. Is there anyone that can't have this done? It's mostly safe for all skin types, really. Um, if someone has active acne, that's you would want to avoid dermal pain for that client. Um, just taking care of the acne first. Okay. okay. Yeah. Look at all that gunk on that blade. That's amazing. So you do this before you do some of your treatments. Exactly. Or, yep. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or most, of them. most of the peels and yeah. Um, yeah. hydrofacial and diamond glow. Mm -hmm. Say so if any of you have any questions, there is a chat box on the bottom of your screen on the right hand side. Or maybe it's in the middle. <laughs> Go ahead and type in your question. And Tracy, our office manager, who is our techie for all this, will get those questions to us and we'll get them answered for you. Yeah, so it's nice to get rid of all the hair up on the lip or on the mouth. And there's a lot of dead skin in that area too. There really is. Mm -hmm. It always gets very dry around that area. Right. Get a lot of buildup. Yeah. And exfoliating before you do treatments also helps with extractions. Right. Yep, exactly. It helps um, any product we put on after penetrate better. Your makeup goes on smoother. It's really, it really is great. Yeah. So Regina Skincare was the first office in the Twin Cities to do dermaplaning. We've been doing this for very, very long. Okay. So, yeah. So that is dermaplaning. Okay, cool. So then um, after you dermaplane, do you want to talk about what kinds of treatments are appropriate for somebody new in mm -hmm. skincare? Yeah. Um, 
one of our popular ones is a micro peel. Um, mm. That's just using a very, very light acid. Um, after the dermal planing, um, just kind of swiping it across the face for that chemical exfoliation. It really just helps brighten things up, um, kills bacteria. It's it's great. Um, it there won't be any like flaking or um, um, really any dryness or anything to the skin. It's just a, a nice light exfoliation peel. Okay, that yeah. sounds good. And what other treatments can be done? Um, the hydrofacial is another really popular one. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool treatment. Um, it uses this vortex technology where um, the handpiece is suctioning out all of the toxins and dirt and oil and everything in the skin. Um, and then at the same time, it's infusing the different serums, whichever step around for the hydrofacial. Nice. So that's really nice. It's great for extractions. Mm -hmm. Your face feels so clean and fresh afterwards. Um, and just like really intense hydration as well. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah. Now we have something similar to that called the Diamond Glow. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so I'd like you to talk about that, but we do have a video of that to share with you as well. So give me a second here. Okay. Hi, Madison. Sorry. Is Diamond Glow. <laughs> First, we're going to start off with painting the skin. We want a really nice clean canvas. This is how the handpiece looks like. Is it going to hurt? Of course not. So it's just going to help gently exfoliate your skin. Let's turn your head. How are you feeling? Really relaxing. Looks like I'm getting a really deep breath. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to apply some sunscreen. It's just going to protect your skin from the sun. The treatment is over now. How do you feel? I feel so good. I feel glowy and dewy, like extremely refreshed. Are you ready to see your waist? Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited. Ready? This oh is my it. <laughs> Gosh, what are those like flakes in there? So the serum is completely clear. The discoloration you see is any dirt and makeup that's just stuck underneath the skin. Anything you see floating inside your dead skin, wow. any ingrowns. Wow, that is crazy. I loved the treatment. It was so much fun, honestly, getting to see the vial of junk at the very end from all the way to the sucking of my skin. I think before my skin was extremely dull. It definitely had some rough patches, so I feel like there was a lot of retexturing done in the treatment. I'm so glad it's exfoliated, my skin's clean, it looks fresh. Um, I love it. It looks great. I'm definitely going to try and come in monthly and get my skin looking right from now on. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cool, right? I, I just love having that done too. Kaylin, can you tell us the main difference between the Diamond Glow and the Hydrofacial? Yeah, um, so the Diamond Glow is really just a physical exfoliation. As you can see, it was, it was pulling out um, all of the dirt and oils and everything, just like the Hydrofacial does, but there isn't any um, acid in there. So the hydrofacial does have a little bit of glycolic and salicylic for that chemical exfoliation, whereas the Diamond Glow is really just um, a physical exfoliant. You get a bottle of serum, that entire bottle is infused in the skin, and we customize that to whatever our client needs. So they're similar but different, mm -hmm. and they're both awesome. Yeah, and a little more physical exfoliation from the Diamond Glow. Then. Right. Diamond yep. is because it has a diamond tip. Right, right. So kind of like dermabrasion. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very updated version. Cool. So yeah. um, you talked about treatments at the office being about 50% of your result. And then what you do at home is 50%. So can we talk about, you know, there's so many products out there on the market. It can be confusing. So how would you start someone out mm -hmm. on a regimen? Yeah. I mean, I know most of you have probably heard this before, but there's a big difference. Um, between medical grade skincare and then what you're getting at Sephora or Target. Um, those products just aren't 
really going to change your skin. Um, they might be the new trend and look nice. The bottle might be pretty and mm -hmm. it might smell good, but it really isn't doing much to actually change and improve the skin. Whereas medical grade is, is actually um, making the skin healthier. So nice. that's just starting out. It's important <laughs> to, um, to know that you're using good, effective products. Um, so let's talk about like the morning routine. What would be yeah. a nice basic one to set people up on? Sure. So I think um, really the most basic anti-aging routine for the morning is um, using a vitamin C. This one. Yeah. So <laughs> this is one of our really most popular vitamin C's that we have here. It's a nice light serum. Um, and vitamin C is just really a, a really potent antioxidant protectant. So it protects against like environmental aggressors. It helps brighten the skin. Um, it does help with breakouts a little bit and it promotes collagen. It is, it's a great, great. It's a must have. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and then following that with a moisturizer. So it's important to hydrate the skin. Keep it hydrated. That's huge. A few moisturizers um, here. Yep. So these are some good ones. Um, the Moisture Boost is definitely um, <laughs> probably our most popular moisturizer. It's really creamy and smooth. Um, and then the other two are really nice options. They're a little bit lighter. Um, they're really great options for summer. Summer or someone oily. With, with a little bit more oily skin. Yeah. Okay. Then. Yeah. And then after moisturizer, of course, using sunscreen. So sunscreen is like the number one anti-aging product. Um, and these are a few of our favorite sunscreens. Um, the Skin Medica and then a couple of the Color Science. And all of these are physical sunscreens. Oh, what's the difference between a physical and a chemical sunscreen? Yeah, so there are two different types of sunscreens, chemical and physical. Um, chemical sunscreen is really what you think of when you just are putting on sunscreen to go to the beach. It usually has that beachy smell mm -hmm. and it's full of chemicals. So it your body absorbs it like a sponge and then it also absorbs the sun rays and that's how it protects against the sun. Um, it's actually, it's pretty harmful. It's harmful to the environment. Um, it's there are studies now that are the chemical sunscreens are being banned mm -hmm. in um, Australia and Hawaii and I think Florida um, because of the damage it's doing to the environment. Mm -hmm. And that can't be good for us then either, right? Exactly. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. So it is important to find a good physical sunscreen. Physical sunscreen, um, you put it on your skin and it works as a shield to protect against the sun um, and all the damage that that can really do to the skin. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, what if it's uh, cloudy out and all I have to do is go to the grocery store? Do I still need to put on sunblock? Yes. <laughs> um, really, it needs to be part of your daily routine. Um, not only is it um, protection from the sun, but it's also um, protection from blue light, which we're all sitting in front of screens all day long. Mm -hmm. um, our phones, we're looking at those all day long and, and blue light causes a lot of damage on the skin. Um, a lot of aging, like signs of aging and pigment. And it's important to have that full protection every single day. Okay. No I matter know. The weather. I know. Like it's your job. Mm -hmm. So, um, I hear some people saying that they have their sunscreen and their moisturizer. What do you think about that? Um, it's really, it's not enough. It's not enough. I know some people look for it in their moisturizer. They look for a foundation that has sunscreen mm -hmm. in it. Really, they're completely different products. They have different jobs. Um, having a sunscreen and a moisturizer or sunscreen and a foundation, it's like having a shampoo and conditioner together. <laughs> they are totally different products and they should be used separately. Okay. Yeah. I hope everyone got that. That's important. Um, okay. So what about a nighttime routine? Yeah. So um, retinol is the like most <laughs> important nighttime anti-aging product. It um, speeds up that cell turnover, mm -hmm. um, which just helps with anti-aging, helps with any surface imperfection. Um, this one right here is one of my favorite retinols. Um, when when people think of retinol or retin-A, they think of 
dry and itchy and harsh, um, but it, do it doesn't have to be that way. This one is loaded with green tea and it's nice and um, gentle on the skin when, while still providing all of the really great things that retinol does. Yeah, I love this. Of course, over my 32 years, I've tried so many retinase and retinols. This is the only one I can really tolerate and have my makeup look okay. And, you know, right. Nobody right. wants to put their makeup on over flaky skin. Yes, exactly. It doesn't and really look good. with retinol, you should start um, like twice a week and then go into every other night. And then eventually if your skin can handle it, then every night. So it doesn't have mm -hmm. to start out every single day right away. That makes sense. Yeah. And then of course, after retinol, super important to have a good moisturizer. Mm -hmm. The moisture boost is like my favorite nighttime um, moisturizer because it, like I said before, super creamy, leaves the skin feeling really nice and hydrated. And at night you want to feel just greased up and, <laughs> and ready to, yeah, to go. That's great. Um, let's talk a little bit about maskne because so many people are coming in now and having mm -hmm. a lot of breakout on their lower face. What can we yeah. do to help them with that? Yeah, that's definitely become a, a big issue. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had clients come in and say, my skin has never looked like this. What can I do? Um, so obviously aside from doing little peels to help kill that bacteria, um, we have this product, the pore reducing pads. Those are awesome. Um, mm -hmm. They really um, kind of just make a, a breakout right away. Um, you would want to use that on clean skin. Um, just kind of swipe the pad across the face, almost in place of a toner. And then follow that with either your vitamin C or your retinol, whichever time you're using it, morning or night. Okay. Um, but those really help kill that bacteria. Yeah. We mm -hmm. see a great difference. And a lot of people buy these for their kids. Yeah. Their high school or college yes. age kids. Definitely. They're reasonable mm -hmm. and very effective. Yep. Great to like yeah. throw in a gym bag and swipe after the gym if you're not going straight home. Or Yeah. They're really great. Okay. And then cool. um, with the mask me. It's important to just have that barrier um, because if you're just putting on a mask that's full of bacteria, you really need something, you know, between the, the skin and the mask. So, mm -hmm. of course, let's go back to sunscreen and, and <laughs> say that that's, um, <laughs> that's really going to help as well. Yeah, it does make a big difference because mm -hmm. when we shut down and I went a little while without wearing stuff under my mask, I actually broke out. And mm -hmm. once I started doing mm -hmm. all my skincare under the mask, it, you know, it all cleared up. Exactly. So that's yep. really nice. Having that barrier is important. Yeah. Yeah. So we got a question in if we offer free consultations and yes, we do anytime that you would like, just call the front desk and, um, you can come in for a 15 or 30 minute consultation, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can discuss products and all these different treatments that Caitlin has told us about. Um, we also, in our anniversary month, have lots of discounts going on. So some of the products that Caitlin talked about, the Skin Pro RX is on sale this week. So you can get this through the rest of this week, even the weekend, if you want to email us and leave us a message. And just watch for our emails in the next couple weeks, because we've got two more webinars coming up, and we have other discounted products and mm -hmm. specials coming up. We're also giving away 25 prizes in 25 days. So anyone that comes in and buys anything or has a treatment, your name goes into the drawing. So that's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so we've just got a couple more weeks left of that. The month is flying by already. Just for showing up today, we have a really nice little gift for you. These makeup towels that are so great. You can put them in your guest bath and uh, not have your guests ruin your nice white towels. So that's kind of a fun thing. So we know who's on here and we'll put them aside for you. Um, yeah. Do you have anything else? Um, yeah. So, you know, tell your friends it's, it's never too late to start. Um, it's really just about making the skin healthy and we have so many things to help with that. So that's thank great. You so much. Thank you, Caitlin. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon.